Patrick, guess what came in the mail today? Oh, what? This. Stick it in! No. <laughs> What it do, YouTube? It is your boy, main time of NPC the gang in this piece right now. I'm finna react once again. Before we get into this reaction, before I even tell y'all about the reaction, what we finna react to, I need you to go ahead and do three things for me. Hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to the channel because we are trying to hit 25K before Christmas Day 2024. We know you can do it. We know we can do it. We all in this together, man. Let's pawn together. Tell your friends to subscribe to the channel. And share the content. Please. Now. What we finna get into right now. We finna react to some paternity court moments. These are the most disturbing paternity court moments ever. Uh, I don't know, cuz. I don't know, cuz. <laughs> For real, I don't know. I don't know about this one, bruh. This might be one of them jumps, right? Here. It might be one of them jumps. Uh. Oh. Oh. I feel like Ricky Ross. Oh. Make him say, nah. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> No lemon soldier. <laughs> nah, let's go get into this joint though. I don't know what it's gonna be like, bro. Let's go. Though. Yeah, he got needles since we here. He don't remember none of this. Now, do you eight months old, beautiful baby? <laughs> You're supposed to be happy and buying little toys. And every time he goes, I, I lose a part of my soul. A man rejects his childhood friend's seven-month-old son and claims one of his friends is the biological father. He says she's promiscuous, and what they had was only a casual fling. <laughs> In elementary school, we was friends. I kind of moved away after a while. We was close friends, but you know, we never kept in touch because we were so young. And one day, after so many years, years of being apart, I was at my friend's house, or well, was at her boyfriend's house, and we were. They talked and caught up, and then they went back to her friend's place with her boyfriend. They slept together that day. They left her friend's house and went back to his house, and they slept together a couple of times. After that, they repeatedly hung out and did the same thing, and it went on for about a month until she found out he had a girlfriend. That was when they stopped talking. I did not have no idea that he had a girlfriend. He told me about a girl that he had talked to, but he stopped Just talking honor, to her. When I walked into that house, she was at one of my friends' house. And when I walked in, she was already- She denied being hung up with anybody or on anybody's lap. Mr. Stone stated that he had used protection while they were at her friend's house, and also when they later went to his house. She agreed with him and also mentioned that they didn't always use protection every time they slept together. According to Mr. Stone, they used protection just one time, and then one time was a threesome. We had Threesome. The night I found out that he had a girlfriend, we had a threesome. Uh, Jerome, at first I thought he said in the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> Then I realized he said in a threesome. I don't know which one caught me by surprise. He used protection with her, but not in a threesome? How logical of- Excuse me? Come again? You said a- A whosome? I'm gonna keep my thoughts to myself. Because what I want to say this ain't a family channel hold up I ain't gonna say it I ain't gonna say it. I'm gonna say it for the wild style I'm gonna say it for the wild style Love him. What he says <laughs> next got me perplexed. It appears that the other girl included in the threesome was his girlfriend. Oh well, it was well thought out. Miss Rogers stated that she wasn't aware until that night. According to her, if she knew he had a girl, she wouldn't have kept sleeping with him. What the fuck? We were never together. We was never in a relationship. It was just friends having sex. That's it. His other How friend, is that? I knew him about what? the same time as I long known him. He just don't know that. He does not know how I know these people, but he keeps trying to make assumptions. He had told his friend that he knew Miss Rogers for a while and he asked him to talk to her and his friend replied telling him all what they had done together including the fact that they had slept together three days before that day he also oh. mentioned that when she told him she was Whoa. pregnant she had slept with his friend twice she disagreed with all he had said saying she never slept with anybody while she was sleeping with him to the doctor 
doctor to get my birth control oh. shot because I know I'm having sex, so I'm like, I need to what do it because I don't want to have no more kids. Uh -huh. I have twins. 18 years old with three children. Huh? That's a whole lot of responsibility for an 18 year old. It was too late at the time she thought to put a cap on it as she was already pregnant. Huh? She was very scared. So she called him and told him she was pregnant. <laughs> Mr. Stone countered her saying they never had a conversation, but he went further to explain his own side of the story. They, I was in the car with one of my friends. They pulled up on me and he said he had to go pick his girl up and her, which is her best her best friend. We get to them, we drop them off at the hospital. Imagine, I don't know what we are doing. She haven't said nothing matter. We Duh. did drop her off at the hospital. I did not know, not one. How is he dropping her off at the hospital, but not asking her why she's at the hospital? That doesn't even make sense. She stated that she had seen pictures of the ultrasound, but he denied it. She told the court that he didn't know she was pregnant until she was four months old. So she couldn't really fault him for not knowing earlier. I went to that ultrasound and I thought I was having a boy. And that lady told me when my baby was conceived. Okay. So at your ultrasound, you got the date. He believes the dates do not add up. Miss Rogers explained that she was told she got pregnant during the beginning of November, which was when she was intimate with Mr. Stone. He disagreed with her date, and they both went loggerheads arguing about the dates. She brought a calendar showing her proving her dates were right. Baby Christian, born on August 25th. I went my whole, I went over my due date because Christian was a very big baby, and my body mm. wasn't trying to get Definitely him to come Definitely about that one either. Mr. Stone admitted being intimate with her in November, but I'm quite confused why he's so convinced he can't be the father if the dates fall right within the window of conception identified by doctors miss rogers states that he called the baby his and she has text messages proving this from mr stone what are you doing and you say sitting here and mr stone says oh okay i miss nugget you write okay and then you write back mr stone when can i have my baby at this time he was already attached to the baby and he said that he had told her that because he grew up without a father and with the situation on ground he might grow up without a father and he didn't want that, so he tried to step up and be a man about the situation. I did tell like him. I did tell him that I don't fault him for how he feels, but he has not came to me since my baby had been born really saying that he really felt like this wasn't his baby. His family has come over to hers and told her that the child looked like him. She told the court that she had told him she was pregnant on the phone, but he had stated he had heard it from someone else. Why the baby eyes ain't open up? To another. I don't think they've agreed on one thing, and that's not a good thing. It's time for the result. Rogers versus Stone. When it comes to seven-month-old Christian Rogers, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Stone, you are not the father. Oh. I don't get lying about nothing. I know what I did. I paid for extra. It appears that she knows who the father is, but conforming to what she said, he doesn't want anything to do with her. She needs a friend that could be there for her, and he sure could be that. Rumors and incriminating evidence for the man to question the paternity of his. Who the fuck is you telling to say he needs to be that? Nigga, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Look, 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 let their business be their business. You just do, you, you just make the video and I'm going to react to your video. You feel me? You just, <laughs> be a friend. A friend? Okay, I'll be a friend. I'm going to be the friend I always been. The one that don't, that don't that's never around. <laughs> the one that's never around that don't call a list. It's just a check in. That's it. I, I, we ain't no hanging. Ain't none of that. <laughs> Ain't none of that. <laughs> I'm going to treat you just like family and friends. I don't call nobody. <laughs> For real. <laughs> His fiance's nine month old son. He refuses to move ahead with their plans to legally wed until he's proven to be the biological father. It might be, it baby. It might not be. But that baby don't, don't like got any melody. There's too many trust issues. And I feel like if you don't have trust, you can't go forward with the relationship. And I don't believe he's mine. They're basically living in not just a legal limbo, but also a love limbo. They met on Tinder. He was swiping through and he saw her profile. He super liked her on Tinder and she in return liked him back and they connected. They were supposed to hang out the first night, but she declined because she was with someone else she met on Tinder. The oh. night is when we actually hung out. She came the over, pocket. Um, we had some drinks, one thing, the the other, pocket. and we had mm, sex mm, the mm. first night. The first night you met? That's definitely a super swipe. They slept together unprotected. I'm curious Ugh. what exactly made her sleep You the raw dog Garando. Did she like him that much? Ugh. She explained that he was nice and handsome, but she also mentioned that alcohol was a contributor. We were exclusive, but My bad. You drunk raw dog Garando. What's your problem, bro? Who raised you? 
Who raised you? Now this baby it might be your. It might be your. It could be yours. But the n nigga do look kind of Asian and Mexican at the same time. I'm not being racist. I'm not being racist. I'm just going off what my eyes see. I see this little cute little baby, and I see this plus size Alvin Kamara. I just see this cute little baby. We finna watch and see the rest of this shit though. Had two different ideas of what talking is. To me, talking is. According to her, talking meant nothing to her because there were no ground rules. He believes this was where a lot of trust issues came from. He showed his friend a picture of her because he was hyped, and then showed him a video of her. She's at a bar giving somebody else her number. It looks like. No. Nope. So it just started to form like issues nope. with trust. If she slept with me the first night that we met, then what would what would I mean? I mean, you the one st with slept the with the girl, bro. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't jump to conclusions Stupid. if I were him. He stated that he had talked to her about it, but she kept the same attitude. She didn't feel guilty about it because she didn't think it was wrong. I'm not holding back shit up now. And another guy who I've just seen around, I don't really know him personally. He stops me and he's like, "Hey, man, are you talking to Gabby?" And he goes, you should be careful, man. I heard she messes with a lot of dudes. And I'm like, what? That's strange to me. Considering they met and messed around too, it sounded like true information. She affirmed that there were people she was swiping uh, through, uh, uh, uh. matching with, and having conversations with. I wonder if he ever caught her red. I wonder if there's a rumor going around about me right now. Uh, you know, he be in everybody DMs. He be in everybody comments. He be liking everybody pictures. I don't get no responses though. So why the fuck is you spreading rumors? I do be in a lot of women's DMs, but I'm I'm more on support. You know, I ain't trying to just smash. Why would I try to just smash every woman that I see? Nah, I'm a good dude. You know, trust me, I'm a good dude. I'm a real good dude. It's just, uh, hey. I'd rather be their friend. <laughs> I'd rather be their friend. I don't want a uh, nah, nah, nah. You can you can go and hang it with all the dudes you want to talk to. You can go do all that. I'd rather just be your friend, the one you talk to. That way I can know how, what women think and how they think and how they move. Because guess what? I do not want to date a woman like that. A woman that gets around with so many men. I don't want to deal with that. So I know what to look for and what not to look for. I know the red flags before they get to it. Before, before. Ooh, yeah. I know so much right now, bro. Trust me. Come to Uncle Tame. Come to Uncle Terry for the for the love advice. For the, for the, for the, for the if, if you are a man and you need advice on relationships and your love life, X, I mean, don't think twice, X, Uncle Terry. Ask Uncle Terry, bro. Ask your uncle, bro. At handed, or if it was just hearsay. Grocery store, and um, we came back, so I go to the trunk to get the groceries or whatever, mm -hmm. and I find men's boxers in the trunk. Oh, shh. Now, I know for sure these aren't mine. I'm like, whose are these? These are not mine. Oh, wow. Miss Satchel is up to something, and we are about to find she out. She brought the box to court. It. That was not the evidence she I was expecting. Flucking. She told the court she that they were in the trunk like a duck. because she had done laundry in her family member's house. And he also added there was a couple of other things. No, like I won't and do so that shit. With the boxers. <laughs> For my birthday and uh -huh. on that trip is when we had sex again unprotected and I know for a fact that I conceived October 20th that's my birthday. He explained that a friend of his had seen her on October 15th at a bar talking to someone else and he has a statement from his friend proving this. He also believes this was the night the baby was conceived. Back around October showed me a girl he met and was starting to talk to on Tinder back when I was in California but like mid-October I was at a bar club and I saw her there talking to another guy feeling on him he recorded it and sent a snap of her giving another guy her number the only way to figure this out is to get the conception calendar 
According to the calendar, the day his friend saw her at the bar was exactly the conception day. This case just got interesting. I was going to go out with my friend. She didn't want me to. I went out anyways. The next day, we had a talk, and she was upset, and she was like, well, you don't need to come to the hospital because he's not yours. It just keeps getting worse. That was not the bell she should have rung. In her defense, she knows the things to say to get under his skin. And in those moments of tension, she was just trying to hurt and upset him. There are other ways of getting back at a partner, but she decided to go too far. She really just put the needle on the haystack with that. And, you know, I've been consistent. He signed the birth certificate. He was there through the pregnancy. Never again did I mention anything like that because that was a mistake and because that's not true. He affirmed that he had signed the birth certificate. He <laughs> loves her and wants a family and the whole lifestyle. <laughs> if you're not true. But he turns out not to be he pretty much fucked himself. See himself moving Your whole forward, life over right there. Having the trust issues in the way for the next 18, her, maybe 25 years. His, why sign the birth certificate? It doesn't add up. You on the birth certificate. So you might not have the family, but you're going to have the financial obligation of that child support. I think we've heard enough testimonies. It's time for the results. Oh, mm. versus Sanchez. When it comes to nine months, it better, better be yours. Jordan Terman. Mr. Terman, you are the father. <laughs> they right. love that better other. be your they child. They really just want to work on themselves and the trust uh, issues they have. Hey, they you're about to say another is. black man down. Another black man gone because of uh, an untrustworthy ho woman. And... Her mouth and her cooter cat she can't keep wrapped in her in her drawers. Not down. Cover yourself, lady. Close your legs. Stop opening your legs for any and every man just because you want to feel good. <laughs> I know that pregnancy didn't feel good, did it? Popping that baby out your hoo-ha. Now you probably had to get a C-section or some shit. But when <laughs> Razor may not actually be her biological father. He spent years in jail for unpaid child support. I think I've seen and his this life shit had been turned upside down. We yeah, that's our daddy. And we was all just discussing how our parents was, and then family members started saying that, well, you don't know if he's your dad or not because you don't look like that's your dad, dad, and he might not be your dad. I remember that. Another family and ask if what she was told was true, but she was told it was not the right time. I to think that's our dad. I don't know. know. We're gonna be we gonna watch this on over. <laughs> but he together. told her that the other guy was around at the time and started uh -huh. questioning it. You actually have a court date tomorrow. 1.30 mm. tomorrow afternoon. Concerning the child support for this young woman that you're still behind on. He could be thrown back in jail for being behind and he still doesn't know if he's her biological father. That's just sad. It appears that he has never actually been arrested for anything besides the child support issue. Mm. Just like that, a clean record got destroyed. Kind of back month, I was like, wait a minute, there's a month or two here that... I wasn't even down there and she's supposed to be pregnant at this time. You start doing some math and you felt like it didn't add up. Yes, ma'am. You said oh, girl in the back, she fine. She was around uh -huh. that time and he thought the child Look, might, yeah. might not be his. Oh, After oh, he oh. learned her mother was pregnant, he went on to get married and signed the birth certificate oh, 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 and he stepped oh, oh. up to be a father. Man, keep it the, I how about her? She bad. Of mine she cute. That Internet, do y'all do, do your justice. She find her. People. Find her. He doesn't believe Miss Lapine looks like Find him, her but for his me. other daughters look very much like him. His other daughter, Miss Jennifer, is in court, and she told the court that she grew up believing Miss Lapine was her sister. She stated that they were always teased about not being sisters. It's just things like, oh, well, you're the milkman's baby, you know, stuff like that. It's just been, it's you know, up, so many years. I believe they're sisters. They and look alike. It comes out, and then you see it affect everybody. It's not just me and her, you know, it's our kids. It's, you know, everybody around us. It's our whole family. That's just really pretty mm -hmm. sad. She brought a picture of her and her sister with their dad, which they took last week. She feels she strongly looks like her father, but she doesn't think Miss Lapine looks like him. Miss Lapine believes she got her mother's side of the genes, and she's always thought she looks like her mom. Now you got your daddy's eyes, girl. What the fuck are you talking about? Paying child support? Yeah. I'd go to the courthouse and pay. Jerome, please pass me that evidence. I would have it taken out of my paychecks. But I believe this right there. I can't I remember if that is or if it's not. I take it out of my paychecks all the time. I can't go back remember. Record after record. I'm going go with that's her daddy. I'm just that's what I'm going with. I'm going with that's her daddy. for 10 years because he and her mother broke up. He came home one day. Her mother came into where he was sitting and told him she wanted him to move out. He packed his things and moved out. Miss mm. Lapine was three years old at the time. Mr. Lapine, you have 
have regret? Yes, ma'am. Because you feel like you let your daughters down? I did let them down, and I'm sorry. I wish I'd never left. I wouldn't worry about what their mom had to say. He also wouldn't have met Miss Opfer, who has been there with him through thick and thin. Miss Opfer is his wife, and she is in court. She explained that it's been hard, as every time he went to jail, the girls do not only lose their father, but so did her four children. She also fears he's going to go back to jail if he turns out not to be Miss Lapine's father. And they take my child support out. I only get $600 a month after that. That's it. So they're taking for your arrears. Yes, ma'am. I feel so sorry for Miss Lapine. This is a lot to handle. She told the court that she has tried to look for the man named Bill that she was told was her father. But it appears that there are 239 people out there from pretty much every state in the United States. Pennsylvania, eight in Tennessee, three in Washington, 13 in North Carolina. And you're trying to look for your potential biological father with these types of odds. Yes, because and then I'm I getting married soon and I just want to know who my real dad is. She told Mr. Lapine that she felt upset he wasn't there for her all those years, even though she really loves him. She believes he did more for her siblings than her. I was gone was my mistake. Because after 10 years, mm. I missed out of you guys' life. <clears throat> that, look at that, that was my mistake. Miss Jennifer also questioned why he was never there. She also told Miss Ofer that she loves her children, but she's jealous of them because her dad raised them, but not her. He wasn't there for her, but he was there for them. Miss Jennifer has also requested that a paternity be done on her behalf to make sure Mr. Lapine is her father, just to support her sister. It's time for the results. In the case of Lapine versus Lapine, when it comes to Jennifer Lapine, Mr. Richard Lapine, you are her father. Let's find out if Miss Lapine is his biological daughter. Lapine versus Lapine. As it pertains to the paternity of Ms. Brandy Lapine. Ms. Lapine, Mr. Richard Lapine is not your biological father. Oh. Uh, I'll take back what I said. I'll take back what I said. That was juicy. That, was, that, that last one was juicy. Hey, you better go find Bill. <laughs> And tell him to pay his bill. <laughs> Here comes your bill. <laughs> I like this, Jack. If I liked it, guess what that means? That means what? You liked it. Go, so go ahead and hit that like button. Share this joint with your friends. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Like I said, we finna hit, we, we want to hit 25k before December or, or, this, or Christmas Day. <coughs> hit that post notification. Better get notified every time that we post and drop a comment of what you want me to react to next. I'm going to holler y'all the next jump. If I do another one today. I don't know if I'm going to react again today. I don't know. Producer Susis. Yeah.